So we're getting a second season of Vixen. Can you talk about uh, where that's going to pick up and how her experiences on Arrow might sort of uh, affect her going forward? Um, let's see. The timeline is what happened on Arrow. Let's see. This is... Um, wait, I'm getting confused. <laughs> first season. Arrow happened in between the first and second season. Yeah. So... Going into the second season, Mari is more capable. She's more aware. She's really like learning how to use her powers. And she had a very, uh, you know, uh, very personal enemy in the first season. Can you talk about the threat she's facing this year and uh, where that might come from? Similar. Yeah. Similar threat. Just uh, that that whole storyline goes a lot deeper. Mm -hmm. And how is she uh, sort of uh, learning about her powers? Is she expanding upon them and sort of feeling out what she can do with them? Because they're, they're pretty amazing powers. Yeah, she is. She's going to do a lot more, <laughs> way, way more stuff uh, than she did in the first season. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you're really excited about to see yourself? Because obviously it's animation, so you're only getting an idea what's going to happen. Um, there's some underwater stuff that's cool. And I, I, I was always curious whether, I wasn't sure if Vixen could breathe underwater. She could harness that power, but she obviously is a super badass and can do everything, so, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, we had some fun audio uh, guest appearances in the first season by some familiar people from the Arrow and Flash first. Might that happen again in season two? Um, yes, absolutely, and maybe even more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anything you might be able to hint at, or you have to keep the Berlanti secrets? I mean, I should probably keep the secrets. Okay, okay. It's for your own good. <laughs> what was it like to take this character into live action, having first introduced her in animation? Was it kind of an amazing experience? Because that doesn't happen almost ever in that way. No, I feel really lucky. It was, it's exciting because I've always dreamed of playing a superhero and in live action, and um, the fact that it got to be Vixen, and the fact that I also am her voice, and she has this amazing, her own animated show. So fun. And then just being on Arrow, it's a great show. Steven is amazing. Um, and the, the stunts, all that stuff is really cool on that show. So it was, it's cool. I hope I get to do more. But it was a very, a very lucky introduction into that world. There was some indication that you were, you were asked about on the CW press call this morning, and Mark Pedowitz said that there certainly is that opportunity, and now there are several shows with that opportunity. Are you excited about the chance that you could meet all sorts of these different characters at one point or other? Absolutely, yes. Is there anyone you'd particularly like to uh, see Vixen encounter? Ooh, um... Oh, there's so many good ones. Um... You know, I really like Supergirl. Mm -hmm. I really like her. Yeah. That's uh, a lot more possible now. <laughs> <laughs> I think Supergirl, Super Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, she's she's in a movie now, but she had a show, and maybe that will come back. Yeah. So Wonder Woman, yes. <laughs>